Have you ever encountered something that terrifies you significantly? And even if it's a long time past, you still feel so much discomfort that you just don't know what to do. Your brain is an association machine. It connects things together. The traumatic events might let you connect a small ripple to the huge surge. Harmless things take in irrational, scary associations. Let's imagine there is water inside you. You are a cup of water. Most of the time, the water is calm and still, but sometimes there are water drops. The storm kind of surge inside you may become terrifying. You might feel your focus is narrowing. You can't breathe. Things get blurry. Negative thoughts keep coming into your mind. Again and again, a mixture of terrifying feelings, a sense of losing control as if you're going to vanish as you face your trigger. What you've just been through is a panic attack. You couldn't imagine an optimistic future, and it kept you in the traumatic past. Your brain continues to model a hostile world, even when you're in a better one. Many think PTSD is caused by bad memories of a traumatic event. It is mostly true, but it is also caused by the expectation and fear that those things are going to happen again and again. This means that you have been victimized twice, once when the trauma happened and twice when you were left alone with the emotional stress left from the trauma. But actually, you don't have to go anywhere trying to find peaceful water. The water is already there. What we do is surf with the water by settling down our minds. We can transform our conceptual system to make things better. Now, try to take a deep breath. Breathe to the edge of your body where you can then notice its limits. Just focus on the rising and falling sensation of the present. Let's think about what worries you the most now. Try to draw what worries you the most, read through it, and rewrite it again with a more positive outlook. Imagine a situation you really enjoy. It could be colors, shapes, sounds, or smells. Try moving your fingers and toes to feel your body, to feel that you are in the present. Once those worrying images try to take you to a future that isn't there yet. Be gentle, relax, focus on your feeling, and bring the feeling back to life. If we change how we see the world, we can change our relationship with pain and discomfort within it. An alternative perspective of the future might solve some of the toughest challenges. Let's start with something little. Try to let the moment last longer and arise more often. Feel what you feel and know that it is you who has the ability to change your expectations.